Hi people, how are you? Let me know below. Uh, today we are going to wash wa uh, bright bedding and what I'm gonna use is Ariel powder concentrate. Concentrated powder, yes. And I am also going to put a little bit of Ace in there as well, of course, because this is a gorgeous product. So the bedding is going in there. <coughs> so I'm going to pour a bit of Ace liquid. Uh, no synth booster right now, but uh, yeah, this is uh, how I wash. Uh, cotton's 95, like for towels, extra water, or maybe I could use hygiene program. Mm, no, let's just stick to cotton. 95, extra water, yes. I think 1400 would be better. And here it is. No softener yet because I do not like to put softener and let it uh, be while I am in the other stuff and while I am boiling because then it gets hot and I have a feeling like it thickens up. So I also like my stuff to smell strong. So I'm not saving on detergent at all. Okay. Of course, I'm boil washing with uh, detergent for colors, but I take care that it is a detergent that goes up to 95 degrees. So I do not worry about uh, uh, that I will not have active detergent in there and yes uh, later when the washing machine will get water I will add some sand beads and some softener but I do not know which softener should I add probably something nice of course but since I add that soft uh, since I add that uh, add that uh, uh, sand boosters I might add also the softener Look how gorgeous it foams. So right now I'm going to add that softener. I am not really happy with it. I'm actually completely not happy with it because it doesn't smell. I expected it to be something better than this actually. So I'm going to pour it till max as always, but I'm also going to add um, uh, scent boosters. And I hope the scent of sand boosters will remain stronger than, than uh, the softener because it just doesn't smell. And these softener sand boosters are awesome. The scent is so gorgeous and so strong and so clean and basically everything you would like it to be. But I don't know why it's becoming wet for some kind of reason. Doesn't matter. Okay, so 2 hours 24 minutes, the water is uh, slightly warm by now, and I cannot wait for the end result. People look at these all gorgeous bubbles, lovely, lovely, lovely. Washing machine is warm, so it means it's really hot the water I mean and this falls up so good hi people good morning it's the next day yesterday I washed uh, the bedding and today I'm going to clean a little and then I'm going to show you what I do because right now I'm going to clean the bathroom I'm going to do the second load of laundry and uh, yeah I want to deep clean the toilet and kitchen today so and maybe vacuum a little but I won't show it I think but you're welcome to join me so for the shower I'm going to use uh, sieve cream 
So basically squeeze it all over. This bathroom is very old, so please do not mind because it's gonna be replaced soon. So I'm basically pouring sieve cream like everywhere. And I'm also going to use, try some of this Mr. Muscle spray. I'm very curious about this because yeah, I've never used it before and yeah. Okay, it sprays really nicely. It smells like orange. <laughs> and I love uh, such smells like orange and all kind of stuff, so I'm very curious. This is not uh, fungi. It's just, uh, yeah, it just missed part of uh, the grout. But yeah, as I said, this bathroom is going to be replaced soon, so I do not mind. So meanwhile, excuse for my washing machine in the uh, background. I'm using sealed bank for glass and I'm going to wipe the mirror down and then I'm going to clean the wash basin. So I had to do voiceover for the wash basin because it didn't record so well. So I'm using uh, DM's anti -lime scale, uh, rem uh, lime scale remover for 65 cents. It smells gorgeous. It works gorgeous, although it doesn't foam as much. Uh, it's very affordable and removes a lime scale very well. So if you want to try something new or you didn't try it yet, get your hands on that because it's really good and yeah 65 uh, 65 cents it's great price like for real so after i'm done with cleaning and wiping down bleach for each black hole and also for cleaning the floor so how do I clean the bathroom floor? I take some water, I take sponge, I take uh, I clean everywhere. And then I'm taking cloth from the bucket and then I just wipe it down. So as you can see, I've put everything out of the toilet. Hey! And now I'm going to dust with uh, Swiffer. And yes, I do not change Swiffer every time I dust just because they are expensive, but they are very good. So once this doesn't absorb dust anymore, and I get new one. So let me dust and I will be back. Well, important thing when you're dusting is to begin up and then go down, 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 okay? So right now I dusted everything, everything is clean. And what I wanna do, I got here um, blue water, right? Like this uh, 2000 flashes or something is it called in the USA. This toilet is around 10 years old. I'm hoping for it to be replaced soon, like everything in here, because these tiles are the same like in the bathroom upstairs, they are old. Um, so this was very bad and I cannot get it cleaner than that, but still, I'm going to show you how I clean my cistern. This bleach is very old, so it's not as active as it used to be because yeah, I have been uh, not using it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to pour the entire thing in the cistern. Well, basically, firstly, I'm going to close the water. I'm going to flush the toilet. Okay. And right now I'm going to pour bleach. Actually everywhere. It's two and a half liter, but as I said, it's not anymore good, so I do not want to Okay, and now we are going to open the water, let it flow, and we're leaving it for 10 to 20 minutes. You will see how much lime scale comes off. I mean, how white it gets. Look, there's already something swimming in there, and I do it like every two, three months, and yeah, there's always something coming off because. This toilet is, uh, yeah, I would say quite old. And look at that, disgusting. 
So for cleaning on the other surfaces, I'm going to use Mr. Proper, Mr. Clean, call it whatever you want, where are you living? It's dependable on that. I'm just going to pour here, there. So basically, and now I'm going to scrub everything down. And right now I'm beginning from right from the back and I'm moving towards the front door. I scrub just everything, what's tiled, because this is what I want when I use the cleaning, okay? Just grabbing some water and just doing like that. That, don't forget about that. Actually, I was thinking, how can I show it to you? Because I want to show myself more. And yeah, I don't use bleach here for purpose because uh, yeah, I do not want to clean with bleach today. I just feel like multi-purpose cleaner, also wash basin I clean. I do not care about all stuff that's in the room because it's gonna be wiped down anyway. It's like dust and everything that you couldn't get off when it was dry. So basically wiping everything everywhere. And yeah, let me finish. So I cleaned and dry everything. Now I'm going to flush the toilet. I'm going to leave it like that for 15 minutes. I'm going to flush it once again to rinse the bleach out. And then I'm going to scrub it my own. So right now when everything is uh, in order, I'm going to pour a little bit of multi-purpose cleaner down the toilet. And I'm going to pour some scourer. Remember to do not breathe that in. And it's time to clean. Sometimes I do that instead of bleach, just because yeah, it is like um, um, peeling to your surfaces at home. So right now I'm going to refill toilet rim blocks because both of them are empty. So basically going to pour it in, squeeze it a little. Okay, and now I'm going to raise my hands, of course, because I had to put my hands down there. Doesn't matter. And for the gel compartment, I'm going to use some gel. This is my favorite kind of toilet rim blocks because it's very hygienic to feel and it's more strong. So, welcome back. Right now I'm going to wash cleaning quads and all kind of stuff. So what I do is I'm going to put a load on. These clothes are very dirty so I'll also do pre-wash and actually also finish this powder because it's old and yeah. So this is gonna go for, for pre-wash. Okay. So this is how it looks like when it's empty. I will also add some bleach, um, chlorine bleach, the best kind. Okay. The whole areolet because there are no jokes with hygiene, okay?
this is for pre-wash and here it goes uh, yes short extra water or not extra water no need but pre-wash yeah I think this would be it So, welcome back. I have some friends mail. Uh, so my friends sent me some stuff to try and also for Christmas in advance. Thank you all, babies. So from Mirko, I have a Procter & Gamble Dash um, Universal for, yeah, from uh, Italy to try. And it smells like Dutch Ariel. I've not liked it at all. I already told Mirko, but I really appreciate it, of course, because how he was supposed to know. And of course, I will use it. I will test it in one from my videos. Um, also, VC and uh, VC Stein, uh, that uh, toilet ring block with Berry Magic scent. I've never had it actually. So I'm really open to try because it smells very, very nice from the. Uh, from the Beaster. The next thing is, and also the last from Mirko is, tam tararam, persil with rose sealant scent. Gosh, it smells so nice. It smells like um, natural roses. So in comparison with Turkish persil, it uh, yeah, Turkish persil smells more like soap. But uh, that one smells like uh, uh, real roses, re uh, like, yeah, roses. But I got also uh, some stuff from Sabine. She gave me some Priva from Netto right now. And well, thank you very much, baby. But uh, yeah, I also wanted to buy Priva to try Priva and make my own uh, persil with uh, rose scent. But I smelled Priva, it was gorgeous. Let me smell it for you again. Yeah. Well, the scent is like detergent powder, but it's completely different one than persil with uh, Vernel slash Cilan Rose, because this is completely different detergent, right? And I wanted to go to Netto and buy these pearls and uh, do this uh, detergent DIY that's known on YouTube right now, but I won't because you cannot, you cannot fake something what's so original and so gorgeous. So next, next thing I got from lovely Sabine is Yumosh Orchidee uh, softener. It's uh, concentrate 1008 milliliters, my, my people. So these, go these Yumos I already smelled. They do smell gorgeous, especially this one. I love this scent so much. I'm I'm so in love with the scent. It's like if I have it, uh, if I if I can get it, my hands easily on it, I will. The next thing is uh, Tesori Dorientale. She used it already, but she gave me also to try because well, we also swap products if uh, she liked it, but uh, she wanted me to try it as well. So here's like half bottle of it. So I am very grateful, thank you, because now I can try something I completely do not know. And thanks to you, you made that possible for me. I also have Yumoj detergent. Yay, it's Turkish detergent liquid. Um, yes, hmm. a Turkish detergent liquid, 42 washes, two and a half liter. It's most gorgeous and mild, so I am very happy. And of course, she bought me a bottle of Ace. She knows I love my bleach, so thank you, Sabine. I am so happy, cannot wait to try the stuff uh, I got from you. Also, danke Mirko für deine Geschenke. Ich bin so dankbar für eure uh, Pakete, das ich bekommen habe. And I also have treated myself, because I wouldn't be myself if uh, I wouldn't buy anything, right? because I love detergents and I love uh, everything that has to do with cleaning. So, Opa! I got me some, some ready on four kilograms, 350 grams, and this is not concentrated one. You can see it in here, 400 grams per wash. 
I just love it so much. So that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Just take care. Bye.